Welcome back, CAA football fans. Bobby Broyles here alongside Tim McDonald as we continue our 11 teams in 11 day series. Tim, today we get a look at another program entering its first season in the league in the Stony Brook Seawolves, who have quite the resume coming off their fourth consecutive Big South title and a playoff victory over 2013 preseason favorite Villanova. Yeah, you look at this Stony Brook team coming in, and like you said, they have a lot of success in the Big South. They fared well against that competition. They really were always at the top, top of that league. Mm -hmm. And you look at their out-of-conference scheduling. Last year, they beat Army. I was at that game. It was a really great game. Marquee win for the program. They also lost to Syracuse, another close one. Offensively, the biggest questions on this team, they lose their top receiver from last year, their top signal caller, and their top running back. Of course, now they have Marcus Coker. He's an Iowa running back. He's a guy who rushed for over 1,000 yards last year. Biggest question is, is he going to get more carries than Miguel Masonette? Miguel Masonette graduated. Is he going to be the guy who's going to be another 1,000-yard rusher? How's their passing game? And they, they have a lot of questions offensively, but mm -hmm. I think overall, Stony Brook as a program, the strides they've made in the last three years coming into the CA, it's perfect timing. Well, we got to sit down with head coach Chuck Priori and talk with him about his expectations for the Seawolves entering their first year in the league. Well, um, we're going to be ready to play. Um, you know, I want to compete each and every week, um, whether it's our non-league games or league games. There'll be challenges that, um, you know, Stony Brook has not had in the past, but um, we've played a competitive schedule before. Um, we've played some of the teams in the league. You know, we played Villanova last year in the playoffs, so we have an idea what it takes, but um, week in and week out, it'll be challenging. Um, but with that challenge, it, it should be excitement. And as, as I tell my team all the time is, we're gonna play the game that we play that week, and we're gonna worry about that week. So right now, we're worried about August 4th when we report. And as we mentioned earlier, Tim Stony Brook, like you, Albany, enters this season with a little momentum after winning a conference championship. And also like the Great Danes, however, the Seawolves will face a more difficult schedule here in 2013. That's exactly right. You look at their schedule and the first three games are on the road. Some of the early CAA tests right off the bat are at Nova and versus Towson. Mm -hmm. Talking about the meat of the yep. CAA right there. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome to the CAA, yeah, Stony Brook. Exactly. Stony Brook and Albany, you, you hate to make comparisons, you hate to pick on the new guys, but they really are similar in a lot of ways in terms of they're both from New York, they both have gone out of their ways to schedule out-of-conference games in the mm -hmm. past. I think the biggest question for Stony Brook isn't going to be the transition as a program, but it's going to be questions offensively and defensively. Mm -hmm. Jawara, Dudley, uh, some guys like Devontae Anderson, guys who have been four-year starters on this defense, and I think guys that Chuck Fiore has had with, with them his whole time through this transition. Yep. I think leadership-wise, they're going to be all right. It's just can they get adjusted to that CA weekly grind and just the difference of play and the difference of talent. Once again, Chuck Priori on the brand of football we can expect from the Seawolves. Well, I, I'd like to think that our number one thing is that we're, we bring a toughness to the field. Um, you know, we're a run-oriented offense. We're a physical defense. I think our reputation over the past few years being in the NCAA playoffs has been that. Um, you know, we've played some, some real keen competition both during a regular season and the NCAA playoffs. And, um, you know, you don't always win all those games. Um, but, you know, we had an opportunity to take UTEP into the double overtime two years ago, played Syracuse into a late game in the fourth quarter, beat Army. Um, so we've played some of that competition. So I, I think what you're going to see from us is you're going to see um, a team that really plays a physical game and um, lines up and expects the game to go to the fourth quarter and be prepared to win in the fourth quarter. And Tim, that style of football has produced a team that has for two straight seasons hosted and won a playoff game to advance to the second round in the FCS playoffs. With that being said, Stony Brook seems to have the depth and experience necessary to transition quite well into this league. I think the depth, that's an important thing that you're talking about because Coach Priori has talked about that in the past. He had a lot of guys last year who were veterans and who've been around the program. He's excited, I think, for some new faces to step up. Who's going to be that guy under center? Who's going to be the wide receiver? Two uh, positions for them. I think excitement, that's the word that Stony Brook's using. Like you said, they've been to the playoffs. They've played at Sam Houston State. They defeated Albany in 2011. Last year, they defeated Villanova. So being there and, and being familiar with the FCS style of playoff, I don't think that, that's going to hurt them at all. They're, they're used to that. The biggest question is which players are, are going to be there for them in the end. Should be exciting to watch how the first se season in CA football plays out for the Seawolves, who open up their season with a scrimmage against Penn on Saturday, August 31st, before kicking off conference play at Rhode Island the following Saturday at 1 p.m. Our 11 teams in 11 day series continues tomorrow when Tim and I break down Delaware as the Blue Hens get set to enter their first season under new head coach Dave Brock. We'll see you right back here tomorrow on CAA.TV.